Hi everybody, uh, this is Never Stop Building and I'm Jason. And a couple months ago, I won this Onin 35EK generator at the Ritchie Brothers auction. And in order to get it off the auction site, I borrowed a acquaintance's trailer, which is what we're loading it on right here. And then I tried to buy this trailer um, and there was some confusion because there was two trailers in play. Long story short, uh, I put this generator on this trailer and then I could not keep this trailer. Um, <clears throat> and that required us to first get it off this trailer, which when you don't have one of these big loaders, you're sort of into a bit of a situation. Getting it off the trailer with those side pieces was a huge pain. I, we had to crib up the entire generator using the forklift on each end uh, to get the trailer out from under it. And then we were able to put it aside. So the next issue was now I needed a trailer for this generator so that I could haul it to Missouri and eventually to Maine. Um, if you follow the channel, you will have seen a video about the adventure in hauling this across the country. Um, so check that out. Um, but anyway, I, I looked around on Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist for a utility trailer that could hold this generator. And, you know, there were some pretty rough trailers for, you know, around... Fourteen hundred to two thousand dollars, and it was starting to get to the point where, I, if I was going to spend that kind of money, I might as well just buy materials and make my own trailer. Which that's kind of how I think about things, and um, so that's what I did. And let's uh, kind of go through the design and considerations, and then we'll build it. So, in thinking about designing a little utility trailer for myself, I wanted to combine all the things I loved about that trailer that I had been using with the generator and I had used it in many other situations before um, and fix all the things that I didn't like about it. So what I really liked about it was that it had a single axle and it had a lot of clearance on the tongue so you could maneuver it very easily and you could jackknife it 90 degrees if you needed to. Um, and when it was off the truck you could move it around by hand very easily which ultimately the trailer i built you can't really move it by hand two people could probably maneuver it with a with a big uh lift bar um but anyway the things i didn't like about it was as you saw with the crazy situation getting that generator off those side rails are totally in the way almost all the time you know I mostly strap down the stuff that I haul and I'm almost always loading it with some sort of lo loader or forklift. And so having direct access to all the sides of the trailer so you can just set something down onto it, that was a big uh, requirement. So the design for this <clears throat> the, de the design for this utility trailer basically would be a mini deck over trailer. Um, tons of attachment points so I could put all the ratchet straps and load binders I wanted to. Um, a 3,500 pound axle, uh, little tires that had a high weight rating um, so that I could keep the trailer height as low as possible and still have it be a deck over. Um, and then just, you know, sort of the standard way I do things, which is kind of overbuild it make it super strong. The other thing that drove me crazy about any trailer really is that the tail lights and all that stuff is always sort of exposed. Uh, so I wanted to hide everything in a way that you couldn't really back the trailer into something. You'd hit metal before you hit a light and destroy your light basically. Um, and then as far as the attachment points, I wanted a heavy duty uh, slip ring, uh, ball hitch, uh, adjustable height with the option for lunette rings. Also having both types of seven-way connectors. So it's kind of a, like a universal trailer. I could haul it with 
a large dump truck or the or the big uh, international, or I could haul it with my pickup truck, and it would be fine. Uh, finally, I wanted a way to store items like straps and binders in a nice, neat way. Um, so that's why we added the little utility box. All those design considerations were really related to just building a utility trailer for myself. Uh, but in addition to that stuff, I wanted to design this trailer to be able to support this generator. Um, I figured I would do a couple things that were unique to the generator. And then once the generator was moved to its final resting place where it will no longer be a mobile generator, but a home backup generator, um, I would convert it back to just a utility trailer. So for the generator purposes, uh, on the tongue area, there's a steel plate with mount points for the two large 100 pound propane tanks that feed this generator because it's a propane generator. Uh, there's a central column with uh, hinged straps so that you can bolt really sturdily these propane tanks and it mounts the regulator and kind of takes care of all the fuel hauling component of that. Um, and my plan is that once I get the generator off of there, I'll just cut that column off and it'll just be a flat place on the trailer. Obviously, you may want to think twice before strapping a cedar post to your forklift tine to flip this giant heavy frame. I coated everything with a uh, rusty metal primer and then uh, tractor supply black farm implement paint. Um, I, what was nice about having the tube frame is that I could run all the wires inside the tubes and they just poked out with a little loom and that seemed a lot cleaner. Um, and so there's just a bunch of fiddling with the wiring to get everything tightened up and then all the little accessories could be mounted. Okay, we got these propane tanks secured with these nice little brackets. Uh, I did a lot of little things to the trailer off camera because we're trying to we we're in a rush to get it registered so i originally used lag screws but we switched to carriage bolts to have a, a double-sided connection to hold these boards down uh, and then obviously the generator is going to hold the middle boards down in addition when that's on there uh you know did all the finished up all the wiring got our vin plate and vin etched and mounted this propane bracket, propane regulator, and these tanks, these are not, this is basically part of the trailer now. I'm pretty impressed. I was a little worried this was, this was gonna stretch out these hinges, but between, the, between these straps and these hold down brackets and then the little, the little stops, which I guess this, it's funny, this little thing is, hopefully that doesn't cause a problem, but it's, these aren't going anywhere. So we will, uh, this is basically ready to have the generator put on it at this point. I just gotta drill some holes in the deck. All right, so that is the trailer all built and generator installed. Uh, if you want more information on this, like parts and uh, the plans that I use, go on and check out the Patreon. I will put that up uh, as soon as somebody's interested in it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.